Hi hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is an updated Arista lipstick collection. If you like to see the Arista lipsticks I currently own in my collection, please keep on watching and I hope you enjoy this video. So thank you and now on to the collection. Alright, so when I did my last Arista collection, I did not own a lot of Arista lipsticks. Nor did I read them really, really high as in to say, okay, I'm going to just go out there and buy a whole bunch. But I um, used them a little more and realized for the cost that they were pretty reasonable. So that initial thing is going to still be there, like cost and all of that. And I'll try and annotate them in the description bar below. But this is just an updated version to show you because I think some of those I may have gotten rid of. I have some new ones here. I still have kind of mixed feelings with them because I realized that with Arista some of the it's like a hit and miss. Some of them are like really great and then others are less desirable and uh, the formulation is not really consistent throughout the brand but all in all I um, really actually enjoyed them and I went and I purchased uh, two more in particular of which I absolutely love and I already have backups in my collection of those two or oh, three I think I have backups of and that's just because I really really enjoyed um, this product so without any more brambling I just want to show you what I have and the swatches of them so I'm just gonna call out all that I have and then afterwards I am gonna do the swatches for you guys just a little pre-arm the cost of them at Pennywise is generally six um seven ninety five that's TT dollars I don't think they're available internationally if they are available internationally it's just someone who's purchasing it they're from Trinidad and is reselling them because they're a local brand the other company um Sasha Cosmetics I know they are available internationally in the U.S. They are like lots of Caribbean islands that um, they have Sasha representatives selling Sasha products. Um, but I'm not sure if they do sell Arista. If they do, please, and you know that, annotate it so that um, others can know about it. And I also had friends who picked it up at variety stores for me and they were like nine dollars and ten tt dollars um for them but yeah that's it and they're available at pennywise in Trinidad and tobago or you can also find them in a lot of beauty stores or variety stores if they have a little cosmetic section chances are they do have some arista lipstick and what i've learned is that the purple ones that i absolutely love are not available in pennywise but they, you can get those at the variety stores so now on to what I own from the Arista brand. So I kind of sort them out in terms of pink, red, orange, purple, and then dark vampy colors. So we ha I have two pink ones. The first one here is called matte pink. This is what it looks like. I already talked about the packaging in the other video, so I'm not going to um, do that in this one. So this is what it looks like. It's like a blue tone, hot pink. I um, don't know if this is a dupe to candy yum yum, so I'm not even going to venture out into that. This one is not as opaque as some of the others, but it does have really good color payoffs. Nonetheless, it's just not sh it's not sheer. It has a sheen and it's a little glossy looking, but not too, too glossy that it's wet. Second one that I own, sorry, it's called Charmed, and I've had this a while, and it's one of my favorite actually from the Arista brand. It is like super pigmented, um, very similar to uh, hot pink. Hot pink is more has more of like a blue tone fuchsia to it, whereas this is more like really a pink pink color, not a, a fuchsia pink. So these are the two that I own for pink. The two purple kind of um, colors that I own. One is matte sensation. You know I absolutely love this. This is like iris iridescent, and you can see how much I've used this, right? Um, it's kind of iridescent, kind of a uh, fuchsia purple with um, that's a little darker purple. I'm seeing like a burgundy peeping through it and I really love this. This stains your lip. It has a thicker formulation, hence why I think it stains your lips. That's what it looks like, like a fuchsia. It sees a little just more purple, um, more of a kind of color than the Charmed. But all in all, I really like it and it stains your lip. I like to put it on. Um, even if I know I have to eat and all that stuff just because eventually I know if once I eat and all of that it will stain my lips so that I will still have a lip color. My 
I think my all-time favorite lipstick from Arista has to definitely be um, Raspberry Punch. So it looks like it's that purple lipstick. Absolutely love, love, love this. Um, between this and matte sensation and charm, I kill these. So this is like a lavender purple, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Really, really love, love this. I have a backup of this. A friend actually got me a backup of this. So you can see the difference in it. It is like a blue tone. Purple is not too vampy. It's just, I'm always rocking this. If you see me and I have on purple lips, chances are, it's, chances really are that it is um, raspberry punch. All right, so now on to the orange colors, kind of red. So I have two that look a bit orange-ish. This is called Matte Sunkiss. This is what it looks like. It's like an orange kind of color. And this actually has a sheen to it, even though it's a matte color. But it is sort of uh, orange. I find it's more like a red tone orange, but it still do get the orange color through it more than you do get red. And the next one I have here is called Matte Sunset. So that's, this one was matte sun kiss and this one is matte sunset and it's what i'm wearing no lip liners or anything of that sort so this is what it looks like and even though these colors say matte i have on no lip gloss i think can you see how much sheen and like looks very moisturizing yeah so even though it's a matte color you get an all of that with it so this is what it looks like i'll just watch it i know i have it on my lips well let's watch it and um you'll see it next to matte um, sun kiss so this is matte sunset and this is matte sun kiss and you can see this more again is a more red it's closer in terms of red it's like an orange red and this one is really like an orange orange so next we have two other reds and this one is called Mars red and I know this was one of those I said I didn't really like so that I still have it so this is because it's just so glossy but this one is glossy too and I'm trying it so <sighs> let's see how it goes and someone recommend I use my lip block so I have not used it honestly the lip block as yet but I will try it because um a little secret I'm just putting this one makeup on for, for this video right so yeah, if I have to go out, I'll definitely try the lip block with it. So this is what Mars Red looks like. It's like a really um, red, red color. I just find it, if it was a little drier, that I would have preferred it. What I plan to do, though, is that I've learned, like, when I teapot these and I put them, like, if I, you know, put pass them to the flame, like fire, in a, melt them in a spoon and then pour them in a jar or whatever, they, they get a lot the lipsticks get a lot drier so for example i had mixed um matte pink because i didn't too like the first one i got with the formula mix it with a blue pigment and i got a purple lips lipstick but the formula was actually really really good i love that formula it's like perfect it's not too dry not too moisturizing and it stains your lips i think i'm gonna actually um depart this and put this in a jar and see if it's a little drier because i do like the red formulation and then the last red I have here is Matte Scarlet. I don't know why they call these things matte because obviously you can see they're not matte. And this one is not pigmented really at all for red lipstick. It kind of gives you a washer color. This is like about six. So this is like a yellow toned or orange toned kind of red. And this one is like a blue toned red. So I do prefer um, Mars Red as against the Scarlet. Alright, so we have the four reds. We have this one. It's called Sun Kiss, Matte Sun Kiss matte sunset mars red and scarlet matte scarlet so that's the four all right so the last set of colors are actually um dark colors i do want to say vampy colors but they are darker colors. Two darker colors that i own the first one is called tantric which is already a darker color it's like um it has like an iridescent dual chrome color to it so it's like a purple dark dark purple kind of movie there we go with this packaging um but it's like has like a red with it too you see like purple sheen with it so it's a very unique color i've worn this a lot of times i actually like it a bit i like it it looks so good on me so this is tantric so it looks like a one swatch looks burgundy but you do see like 
a purple sheen to it that can you know that comes out or peeps at you the last one is called topsy turvy which is really like a vampy color this is what it looks like I don't know why I picked this up. I think I picked this up when I picked up one of the Rowan ones. The really dark purple. Wondering if these could be a possible dupe to that dark vampy matte. Um, MAC lipstick that everybody's going crazy over. And that Wet n Wild has a dupe to it. And you know everybody's seeing it going crazy. Yeah so this is it. Um, Topsy TV. Alright so I found the lipstick that I was talking about. It's MAC. Oh, something must fall, right? Max Rebel. So I'm not sure if Topsy Turvy, oops, and I did, yeah, Topsy Turvy, which is this one, or the one from Rowan. And I more or less have a video on the swatches of all the Rowan lipsticks. I have, so I'll link it below for you guys to check it out. I'm not sure which one of them is a closer to, to Max Rebel, or I think Wet n Wild is Sugar Plum Fairy. So, um, these are cheaper. I know Wet n Wild is hard to get in Trinidad. A lot of people, there are a lot of sellers. Like, you have Makeup Attitude as one of them. And then I think Makeup Haven sells Wet n Wild. So, you guys can check them out. Um, but, Arista, I think this might be a possible dupe. So, those of you who have both, let me know what you think. Check out Topsy TV and swatch it on your hands and see if it's a dupe to max rebel but i don't i can't really see myself wearing these vampy colors but what i do especially with topsy turvy i've worn it and used my milani um movie star blue lip lip um i call it lip gloss to give it like that nice purple color it looks really really great so i like it that way and that's why i still bought it in my collection it's still good to have it i think if i'm doing reviews i need to have a variety of you know colors and stuff and all of that so all in all um i like the arista lipstick more i think now than i did when i did the first um impressions or review of it then the packaging sucks but the product is really really good i like it um i like the fact that it does stain your lips so that you can eat and still have color in your lip and don't have to feel that your lip is bare um lots of the colors stain but they're not as drying as other brands so that it is a good recommendation now how much would i rate this i would give these four to five um packaging is what will bring it down really low because i find a packaging is really cheap tacky but i can live with that really i can live with it but i i just think it could have packaging could be a little better but a formula like it i wish some of them were a little drier will work around those that are also a bit um wet but yeah so i hope it was helpful for those of you who want to go try out some Arista lipsticks they don't have very sensitive skin as you know it doesn't do anything to my lips so that's a th two thumbs up because it works so definitely recommend you go check them out they're so expensive try them didn't ha don't have any nudes um from them i don't know if i'll go and get any nudes can't promise because you know it's Rowane dealing with but yeah so thank you for watching let me know what's your favorite Ar Arista lipstick if you own any and um what colors you recommend that i don't have here and which colors you think if you don't have any that you'll go out and get so until next video thanks for watching bye